also got the A-list status this month specifically, Ricky Flex, because I don't know the last time we had a month that was as promising as July 2023. We have Barbenheimer, obviously, July 21st, Oppenheimer and Barbie debuting on the same day, same box off box office opening weekend. We got the week before we got uh the week before uh Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part One coming up on the pod next week. Then we have like movies like Haunted Mansion from Disney, uh, and Insidious, the Red Door spinoff coming as well. This might be one of the best months we've gotten in quite some time. Yes, and I'll just say this too. Going back to our uh, our first ever auction, uh, it was our summer blockbuster 2023 auction. There's a movie that comes out this weekend that's doing very well, or that uh, critically, 92% certified fresh, and that's Joyride. Yep, and I picked that for a dollar back in the auction, and that's looking like it might pay off here, Doctor Ricky. Don't you don't when we were off recording, you were not sold on this movie. When we were talking about it this week, you were like, "Oh, I was like, well, maybe she see Joyride." You're like, "Ah, I don't know." <laughs> I think I, I still am not sold that I will love it, but I'll take it for the auction. My results, I'll take it. Yes, you can you can have it because you did take it. And I think I just want to bring up what the box office projections look like for two specific movies here. July 21st, Oppenheimer and Barbie. Oppenheimer is set to make or estimated to make $40 million in its opening weekend domestically. Meanwhile, Barbie is on track to make between 80 to $100 million in its domestic opening day, opening weekend, excuse me. Ricky Flex. Reactions to this? Are you surprised by these numbers, right? Or do you think they're too low? Do you project Barbie's going to be on the lower end of the spectrum, higher end? What can you tell me based on those statistics? Yeah, this is like for my boy Christopher Nolan. Like this is I've I've been waiting for this because I've been expecting this, but he's probably so delusional. He's probably thinking like it should be the other way. But Oppenheimer, a period piece, some black and white gray imaging. It looks like it could possibly be slow. Um, Mission Impossible is going to have a great run. Like, it will. Tom Cruise just dominates the box office. Projected just $90 million domestic opening and, weekend. And Unreal Reviews right now, already certified fresh at 98%, already ahead of Fallout. Like, this is another Fallout. Like, that's going to be so bad for Oppenheimer and also Barbie. And if you just compare it back to your question, like Oppenheimer and Barbie, Barbie's just more appealing. It's just open to more people. So if I had to do over-unders, I would go with the under for Oppenheimer and the over for Barbie. Like, I, I think that's what you would do. And the only selling point for me, if you had to do the other way around, is Oppenheimer and Universal bought out a bunch of IMAX theaters. So those tickets just cost more, and there's more percentage of revenue going to Oppenheimer. So maybe box office figure-wise, that might help them get to the over. I just, I, I'm a little nervous for my boy here. I'm a little nervous for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, box I, office wise, not movie wise. I'm like in terms of being a movie podcaster and us talking about box office and movie news. I'm so ecstatic that we have this Barben, Barbenheimer type of rivalry going, and then here comes Tom Cruise with the late surge on the stealing the of wall. IMAX theaters. Like this is this is the perfect triangle of confusion and chaos that we need. It's a three-way standoff at the box office. We love this stuff. We absolutely love it. Uh, I agree. Oppenheimer, I would go on the low end of $40 million. I would say maybe just under $40 million. And you mentioned Mission Impossible 7, Barbie same day, Oppenheimer also R rating. And when you compare the promotion of Oppenheimer versus Barbie, Barbie is absolutely kicking the shit out of Oppenheimer. Barbie, you are going to have studies done on the promotion of the Barbie movie. If I, I would actually say Barbie, yeah, it's leaning more towards the $100 million range domestically, the box office opening weekend. Like when you go for the songs that are coming out with Dua Lipa, the posters that have come up, you have the picture of Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie flashing their tickets at the double feature with in front of the Oppenheimer sign. There's no way Christopher Nolan was ever going to do that or Killian Murphy. Like Christopher Nolan relies on the fact that this is a Christopher Nolan movie. I'm going to show you the trailer. And the only like quotes he's given us is, oh, I have 11 miles of IMAX length. 
They posted a picture of the IMAX of film that was used for, uh, for Oppenheimer. And then he's also, this doesn't help, where people have become sick after watching the movie. People have not felt well after seeing the ending of Oppenheimer. He wants to like get people to go see the movie. Don't say people are going to feel like trash afterwards. I don't think that's a good plan when you're going against the likes of Barbie. Let me let me make one last selling point. Even though I'm on your, I picked the under. I'm with you. The other gr- the great promotion with Oppenheimer is that the nuclear bombs, like the actual, like what they did to film this movie, like the explo- like what he they relies act- on the spectacle. Of what yeah, people like, know it's going to be. It's Christopher Nolan, and I think that's like okay, great, and like oh, that's kind of cool. They they actually did this in real life and filmed it, and it's going to be in this movie with all these celebrities. Florence Pugh, so Killian Murphy, Peaky Blinders, Matt Damon. Awesome. But I think the more flashy one is, oh, Barbie caused a world shortage of the color pink. <laughs> like, that's even flashier. Like, oh, all right, I got to go see this movie because of the real world uh, effects that you could be watching here on the big screen with Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling and so forth. So it's just, it just seems that Barbie, with their marketing, the flashier stars, the premise – more open everything just it just seems like i will rely more on barbie for box office and over oppenheimer but if i had to pick which movie i think is going to be better critically like what, what i think i'm going to enjoy more as a, if i like look at it critically it'll be oppenheimer versus a barbie yeah i think so too and i agree the barbie movie is more accessible obviously at the pg-13 rating but also the ip it's the iconic doll and you have the iconic actress playing the iconic doll like it, it just plays in too well and the movie's been everywhere like i can't go on twitter and scroll more than 10 tweets before i see something about barbie 